I'm going to try this palette with two different eye base colors. I want to see the difference in how the colors come out. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today for this video, which is going to be my first impressions of the brand new mini palette released by Natasha Denona. That's right. I've got my hands on the mini trio chrome that just released. I'm super excited to have this palette. Haven't even looked at it yet. Oh my God. It's perfect. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Look at this. I love that you can, hold on. I love that you can see through the packaging now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've got to see it in person. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God. It's so cute. Oh my God. You guys, look at this. Hold on. Let me take the plastic off. Oh my God. What? Are you seeing this? Look at this. The camera is not doing this palette justice. Oh my God. Let me pull out the big one and show you and let's compare. Okay, here's the big one. This, this looks like the packaging. Oh, I love this palette so much. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like, I love this palette. If you don't have this palette, I recommend getting the large one. It is so beautiful. If you're getting it for the trio of duo chromes, they're very like mature, subdued kind of chromatic effects. They're not super shifty. They're not multi-chromes. They're not tri-chromes. She wasn't trying to make up a new name. The trio is the fact that there's three, okay? So these are duochrome shadows, not multi-chromes. They're duochrome shadows. So go into it with tempered expectations. But this palette is amazing. It's beautiful. It looks stunning on the eyes. I've never had a bad look from it. I can't wait to dig into this little one. I can't. When I heard that Natasha Denone, hold on. I can't wait to dig into this little one. I am so excited about this release. Oh my God. When I heard that Natasha Denona was releasing a mini trio comb, I about lost my, sh <laughs> for real. I was like, what? She's going to do what? Oh my God. Yes. Look at this. Oh. Oh, Natasha's out here giving me what Pat McGrath won't. Girl, yes, look at this color. Oh my God, this is a mini, guys, a mini. This is gonna go right up there with my other two most favorite minis of her releases. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Let's get it on my eyes. I do have a new, whoa. I do have a new primer to try. Here is one that's a little bit more cool toned. And my usual one is more warm toned, more yellow based. So I'm curious, okay, I'm going to try this palette with two different eye base colors. I want to see the difference in how the colors come out. So let's see how this works. One is going to be my tried and true, um, matte paint pot in soft ochre <laughs> i drew a blank and then the other one will be painterly so let me let me put those on one by one and then we'll get to the eye look hold on all right i'm going to use a fresh brush for the other eye first time to try this thing all right I've never used another shade of a paint pot before. <laughs> so I'm really curious to see how much of a difference it's gonna make in the way that these colors perform, especially because they're kind of blue based. I'm gonna create a look using all of the shades. So let's just see what happens. I am so excited about this release. 
I'm gonna start off with a refer 12 into this beautiful light matte right here. Oh my God, I, I am so excited about this color. My heart is literally racing right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's see how this looks. I'm gonna start it off in a color that I usually work with. Okay, she's pastel. That is a pastel blue. Maybe a little bit too dark for my inner corner, but we're just gonna see how it works. Ooh, I like it a lot better on the painterly. See the color that it gives? Wow, yeah, see? It does look a little different. It reacts very differently here on the one that is more yellow based. It makes it a little bit more pale. Actually, it's not that much of a difference in how it's coming out. Looks a little deeper on the yellow one. Let's move on. I'm gonna use my new Sephora Pro Set, the last brush that I haven't tested yet. If you missed that video, I do have a video testing out the rest of the rest of the Sephora Pro Set. This is the last brush that I have yet to try. So, okay, so for this part, I wanna go into, I'm gonna use now this really bright blue. I'm gonna pack this in the crease. Ooh, it's a deeper blue than I thought. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. That is the most beautiful blue. It builds up beautifully. I think I like the way the blues look better on the painterly paint pot. So yeah, I'm really glad that I picked that up so that I could try it out and see how that works. I really do like the way it is, the way it's turning out more so on the painterly. Something about the way, it just looks like it's got a little bit more of a green undertone. If you'll look right there, it just, you have to look really closely and I'm not sure if it's coming off in person, but it just on the edges, it just looks like it has a little bit of a hint of green. So I definitely like the painterly a lot better for cool tone shades. Huh. I really am so glad that I picked up a different colored base. Okay, so... For the outer corner, I'm gonna go into this darker matte. I love that we have three mattes of varying depth in this palette. It's the perfect ratio in a five pan if you ask me. Hopefully this deep blue will look darker than the blue that's in my crease. So let's start off here. Mm, that's not working out that great. Let me try that again. It is darker, it's showing up more navy, whereas the other one is more of like a cornflower blue. And this is what they mix like, here we go. Blending them together nicely. All right, now let's see how that one blends over here. That one is really powdery though. It's already like powdered over into my shimmer. I do like the way this blue looks on the painterly a lot better as well. This deeper blue, it just, it just looks smoother as far as the color gradient. Whereas this one looks really dark, like it's kind of, yeah, I, I really think that has to do with the color underneath because the yellow undertone is just kind of mixing with the blue a little bit. That's probably what's been off in all of my blue looks thus far is the fact that I was still using my same very warm eye base. Okay. Stunning. St 
stunning blue. You can see a difference in person between these two blues. I hope it's noticeable on the screen. I am filming in natural lighting, so I hope that so I hope that's helpful so that you can get a really good representation of how the colors are performing. I just need to clean off my palette a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> um Oh my God, I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm gonna work on the lower lash line first and I wanna start off with this pale, soft color. And remember, this is just going now on like my skin. I don't have any primer on my lower lash line. So it's not gonna be as bright and as punchy as it is in my inner corner over here on the ones with eye base. You could put eye base on your lower liner, like on your lower lash if you want. Um, I didn't like the way that worked out for me because it just accentuated like all of my creases and just made it look really bad in my opinion. So I didn't like that. <laughs> okay, here's a little bit of that soft blue. Now I'm gonna take some of this bright blue, the mid-tone one, the one that's all in my crease, and I'm gonna just go a little bit closer to the lash line for a little bit of that darkness. Oh my God, this is just beautiful. Natasha outdid herself. Natasha really outdid herself. Okay, I wanna try this light shade here. I'm gonna spray it. No, first let's try a dry. Let's just see what it looks like and I'm gonna put it right down here. Wow, that's punchy. Whoa. That's really punchy dry. Like you can totally see that. Can you see the reflection? Let's see it on the other eye. And that one's, that shade is pretty creamy. So like, don't dig in real hard unless you are trying to fake pan. <laughs> wow. Okay. So there's that shade. I do feel though like it would be nice to see what that can do more intensely. But first let's work on the middle. Okay. I'm going to go into this shifty one. It goes from like purple to green. Oh my God. This one looks like the cover of the Trio Chrome palette itself, like the full size one. Oh my God. Oh, 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 that's stunning. Are you getting that effect right there? Oh my God, I did not wet this color. This is completely dry. Oh my God. It is beautiful, holy moly. Look at that shade. Oh my God. Okay, I wanna see what it does wet. Let's just see. Oh my God, <laughs> this little palette is powerful. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, holy moly. I've officially used all the shades in the palette. <laughs> um, I do wanna try using, hold on. I want to see what this shifty shade looks like on my lower lash line. Okay, so there it is on the lower lash line. It just adds a little bit more fun and pizzazz, whereas this is more just matte and colorful. Wow. 
Yeah, I really like that on the lower lash line too. Oh my God. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this bright shade here. Using my favorite shader, the MAC, um, this one. Oh my God. That's beautiful. It did brighten it up. Do you see the difference? Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, and just because I can't stop myself <laughs> and I don't want to stop yet, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this bright shade and just run it across the top of the lash line. I mean, the top of the brow arch. Just for a little bit of fun and pizzazz. Wow. <laughs> There's the eye look all completed. We've used all the shades now. Here's the look with just eyeshadow alone. Let's add some eyeliner and mascara and see how the look all pulls together. In the end, it looks like the yellow base as opposed to the cooler tone eye base just makes the blue look a little bit darker. Whereas this has a little bit more of like a lightness, brightness undertone. This gives it a little bit more of like that depth. And I think I like the painterly one better for blues. So that's cool. Okay. Okay, let me add a wing liner. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, here's the finished look with eyeliner and mascara. Let me, let's take a good look at the eyes. <laughs> I, oh my God, absolutely love this look so much. And what I love about Natasha Denona palettes is that I didn't need glitter glue for this. I don't have fallout all over my face. I don't have to worry about glitter getting into my eye the rest of the night, yet I still have a really punchy, beautiful party kind of eye look. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I did use every single shade in the palette. I think you can get a very cohesive, complete look out of just this palette alone. I am Utterly grateful that Natasha Delona released this mini palette. This is definitely by far her best, her absolute best colorful mini palette to date. I am so happy to have this in my collection. Now I want to know your thoughts on this palette. I know blue isn't as popular with everyone else as it is with me, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to comment down below. I look forward to hearing what you've got to say. Remember, it's okay if we have different makeup styles and preferences. We can still be friends. So be sure to share your thoughts with me down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. And I look forward to reading your comments there. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my channel out so much. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God, like seriously, this palette is everything. This is my absolute most favorite Natasha Denona mini that's ever been released. Oh my God. Let me know if you picked it up or not.